Okay. We'll play Blue's Clues to figure out what time it is. It's one of the most successful, critically acclaimed, and groundbreaking preschool television series of all time. And now, after ten years on the air, the secrets to Blue's Clues will finally be revealed. You will come and help me with this, won't you? How the cuddliest pup on TV had to claw her way to the top. One of the things that nobody knows is that Blue was originally a cat. What? Why TV's top dog called it quits at the height of his fame. Why did this guy Steve Bale anyways? Did he, like, get tired of being rich? Which of Hollywood stars battled for Steve's spot? There's nothing here. How is it supposed to answer me? And how an unknown actor, without a clue, snagged the role of a lifetime. Well, I thought it was, like, about the blues. Like, you know, got to give it so. <laughs> now, after ten glorious years, the real story behind the clues. Okay, let's just get started, huh? Celebrating 10 years with Blue. If you were born after 1990, chances are you are a member of Generation Blue. We can do anything that we want to do. We used to sing along to that song even in fifth grade. Shouldn't have said that. I definitely remember Blue. And I'd always answer back and I'd think she could totally hear me. And if you became a parrot any time in the last decade, chances are that you love Blue too. If you don't know what Blue's Clues is, you've been living under a rock. Uh oh Because there's shirts and toys all over the place. It encourages kids to think and to be smart, and, you know, the dog Blue was a hit at our home from day one. What most people don't know is that behind Blue and her clues, behind Mailbox, Mr. Salt, Mrs. Pepper, and their entire condiment family was a very green creative team. They were all babies. You know, they were fresh out of college, and I just had to trust them. Nick executives charged the young trio with a special mission, create a game show for the network's youngest viewers. We do believe that kids come to TV with an active mind. We had done so much research to create games where the kids at home feel like they're playing along. Blue was born high above New York's Times Square in a cramped conference room in the summer of 94. We sat in a conference room, I would say, for about 30 days. I don't think they ever left. I think we used to just slide pizza under the door. One of the things that nobody knows is that Blue was originally a cat. What? First his name was Mr. Orange, and then we are like, oh, maybe Mr. Blue. With a blue cat on the drawing board, the team put out the call for the music to make her purr. I got a call from Tracy. I think you guys would be great to do the music. Maybe it's called Blueprints. We don't know. But Nickelodeon was already eyeing a show featuring a feline, so the cat was tossed in the litter box. Uh-oh. And we're like, what else could it be? And we're like, well, it could be a puppy or a dog. And I'm like, okay. Animator Dave Palmer was picked to prep the puppy for the pilot. When I draw Blue, her head is just made up of circles. We wanted her to be really friendly looking. See? You sit here very excitedly. Hope you like it. Nick execs knew this dog for tots would be more than just bark. Blue had bite. And Blue had legs. So the team moved forward. Next step, find a host. I think we saw over a thousand people. Our first audition for Blue's Clues in this room against that wall. I remember being in that room when Steve walked in. We couldn't go in and model this long-haired skateboardy guy. So we made a little secret phone call. Wear a button down or something along. You have access to a hairdresser. Can you not look like you tomorrow morning? Thanks, bye. Click. Whoa! While others aspire to skidoo alongside Blue, a test audience of kids made the final casting call. Can you help me today? Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Young Steve Burns would be their boy. There was just something about this kid who was fresh out of Pennsylvania, who just knew where to look in the camera to really talk to kids. He was just right. With Steve in place to search for clues, every member of Team Blue pitched in to play a part. Adios! We didn't have any money, and we realized that we needed barks for Blue. So basically, we went around the room and said, Can you bark? Can you bark? Can you bark? Can you bark? And I could bark. 
Nick, uh, was Mr. Salt. Here's the secret behind the scene that Mr. Salt was originally not French. Ooh. The original Mr. Salt sounded something like that. Hey, Mrs. Pepper, looks like uh, Blue uh, is in the kitchen and might need a little help over there. With a completed pilot in the can, Team Blue headed back to school. We went to preschool's first thing that next morning at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah! By that third clue, kids were on their feet pointing and screaming. Right there! We were just sitting there crying, like, okay, this is, this is it. Cool. Then... On September 8th, 1996, Blue's Clues made its Nickelodeon debut. Hi out there, it's me, Steve. I believed in Blue's Clues, and I thought it was magic, but it was another thing to see that all these other people thought it was magic, too. But Blue's Clues was more than a hit. It was a home run. Soon, independent studies showed that kids wouldn't just play along, they'd think along, too. Hi, come on in. You just can't get away from how smart and how well done the, the basic architecture of the show is and how well it understands children and the way they watch television. Steve and Blue led kids through a colorful world of learning, and parents love them for it. We have Blue's Clues to thank for taking the standard and raising it. Good work, Blue. Soon, everyone was celebrating Blue's Clues. I thought I was colorblind for a while, and it turns out it was, it was just blue everywhere. La, 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 la. Suddenly, Blue was bigger than life, floating over the New York City skyline. And coming down Broadway now is Felt Steve and Giant Inflated Blue. Boy, he sure looks cold. <laughs> Success spawned a series of primetime specials, a squadron of celebrity guests, a TV movie musical, and a live national tour. Blue barked in 16 languages, and new Steve sprang up from the United Kingdom. It's me, Kevin. To Korea. Blue was even making late night news. In a uh, related story, President Bush took the week off to catch up on Blue's Clues. For seven glorious years, Steve and his cuddly pup were inseparable. Like peanut butter and jelly, no one could imagine them apart. <laughs> And then, the world of toddler TV was rocked. After nearly 100 episodes and at the pinnacle of his fame, Steve made a shocking announcement. He was leaving the show. Uh -oh. We just lost our breath. We were just, we didn't know. We, we called Steve and we said, what are you doing? What are you doing to us? Never mind you. Wake up, Steve! What? Huh? He said he was leaving to pursue a music career. But the tabloids didn't buy it. And soon, rumors of Steve's demise were flying. I heard some wild rumors of why he left, and, you know, I won't go into them because they were crazy. I did hear these rumors that Steve was dead, and I was, like, I was freaked out. The rumor mill surrounding me has always been really strange. Like, no one can figure it out. You know, people were calling me up going, did you hear Steve died from Blue's Clues? I'm like, what? It was ridiculous, so he had to go on the Rosie O'Donnell show to prove that he was still breathing. He said, we're here to announce that he's not dead. But Steve did have a secret. What is the secret reason? And now, in a Nick Jr. exclusive, he reveals the bold truth about his departure. I knew I wasn't going to be doing children's television all my life, mostly because I refused to lose my hair on a kid's TV show. And it was happening fast. The network launched a worldwide search to find our favorite puppy, a new pal. Why did this guy Steve bail anyways? Did he, like, get tired of being rich? And a who's who of Hollywood audition. There's nothing here. How is it supposed to answer me? I'm Donovan Patton. But it was a 24-year-old unknown actor who snagged the role, even though he didn't have a clue about blue. I was picturing this dog with a soul patch and a saxophone. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was, like, about the blues. Like, you know, Steve... What's Blue's Clues? Donovan was cast as Joe, Steve's little brother. You sure he's not coming back? And the two worked around the clock to prepare him for the passing of the paw. He is the male that never fails, makes me want to wag my tail. Man. Thanks again for all your help. 
In April 2002, Steve skidooed to college, leaving Joe in charge. Have fun playing Blue's Clues with Joe. Bye. Bye, Steve. Bye, Bye Joe. With Steve off to college, his brother Joe is now the host of this colorful show for preschoolers. What is Blue's Clues? Yeah. In a primetime special in February 04, Nick Jr. opened the door to Blue's room. And with a wave of a wand, she could talk. I can talk to you? <gasps> now as Blue's Clues celebrates its 10th anniversary, an even more miraculous secret is about to be revealed. When the 10th anniversary special comes along, we're going to play Gold Clues. And we're going to find out because Blue's going to have a baby brother. Shh, I, I can't say anything more. Blue's baby brother is here. After a decade on the air, Blue's Clues hasn't missed a beat. It remains a massive hit with all kids, young and old. Blue's Clues, happy 10th anniversary. Blue's anniversary. Blue's anniversary. Blue's anniversary. Blue's anniversary. Happy anniversary. Congratulations, Blue. Happy anniversary. Ten years, huh? Congratulations, Blue. Happy ten years, Blue. I love you. You go, girl. Congratulations. Happy anniversary. That's great news. Best wishes. Congratulations. Blue's clothes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, Blue. One thing will always be true is that the message will be there that you can do anything that you want to do. Bye, bye, bye.